welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to answer a quick question. Somebody asked me to answer a question on when you do reline it, which is your own soft reliner you can get over the counter. It's like five bucks. I don't think I have it in my box of fun. Um, it's in my freezer. But um, reline it is literally you get two kits um, inside one box. It's five dollars at Walmart. It is like seven, eight bucks at Rite Aid or, Dal or uh, Walgreens. But if you do your own soft reline regular, you know, that you never do anything to your denture, it's your normal denture, no soft reline, nothing done to it, um, you do your soft reliner. Then as time goes, it starts to get looser because you're in your early stages of, um, you know, your gums are shrinking. For the first six months, I gotta say, you have a lot of quick uh, changing. It's gonna shrink a lot. Then it's gonna be gradual through a year. It does slow a lot down. Um, after a year, but there still is gum shrinkage. Actually, you're pretty much always going to have gum shrinkage, but it's going to be very, very minimal after a year for most people in general. But um, somebody asked me, you know, after you've done your soft free line and it's, you know, loose now, can you put soft free liner on top of it? In theory, yes, but a lot of mistakes can be made. If you put another soft free liner on top of your already soft free liner, one bacteria gets trapped. It is not the same application, so you're gonna. It's gonna be obvious. You have double the layer, and bacteria easily gets in it. You're gonna get mold. You're gonna get stuff. So don't. Um, hygiene purposes, don't do it. Don't do soft reliner and then put another one on top. Just take out your old soft reliner. Use hot water, and you know, wait. Let it get soft. It's gonna be a while. And then what I do is I take tweezers and I slowly lift it up at the end and keep working its way, let it sit again with hot water, keep lifting, keep lifting. Eventually it comes out if it's not ready. If it is already lifting, it'll be way easier to come out. But if you want something like you want to keep the soft reliner you have, but you want something as like a filler to like, you know, one side's looser than the other, what you want to do is you want to get cushion grip. Cushion grip. It's not an adhesive, but it's not really a soft reliner. I would, I like to call it a temporary soft reliner, like four day temporary soft reliner. It can last longer for some people, um, but especially if you're in the quick gum phase, it'll probably be like maybe a week at last for at max. But you can fill it in the spots. You can easily take it out when you need to. Um, so do not, in my advice and opinion, and actually there are some places online that says do not put a soft reliner on top of another soft reliner. It looks like uh, layers. Like if, say, if you were to take two sponges and put them on top of each other. It's what it's going to look like, in theory, if you put two soft reliners on top of each other. So don't do that. Use cushion grip for the fillers if you need to, because you can take it out. You can clean your soft reliner, do all that. No mold's going to get stuck. It's not going to be an issue. Cleanliness is everything and hygiene. So do not use soft reliner on top of soft reliner. If you want a new soft reline, just take it all out and start all over. Or you can use cushion grip, like I said, in the spots that you need it, and you can mold it. With That's what's cool about it. It's in a tube. Use the amount you want. You can mold it. You can do whatever you want with it and just use it, and it, which is cushion grip. It cushions and grips so you have that security so you don't need adhesive. Yes, you can use adhesive with it, but you don't have to if, you know, you have the right grip to it. Um... On a side note, um, when people do their dentures, like I always show people, people always ask me, how are mine look so real? I actually didn't choose these. These are immediates. I did choose a color to match my bottom, but I did not pick it. Now, a real prosthodontist, somebody knows what they're doing and, you know, wants to go by looking real like mine do. If I'm going to show you my gums in a minute. You'll see how the gums actually come down. Watch. Hold on, trying to help you here. See how it comes down? It gives it that real look. So when I smile, you don't see the top gums, which I love. When I first got it done, I did um, have that top gum showing because of all the swelling and, you know, everything is just big and fluffy. Really is, I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, I'm a hot mess. It is early in the morning. And I don't go for pretty. I don't go for, oh my god, I gotta look so fabulous in videos. No, we are human beings. Sometimes we look like shit. So this morning, I look like shit. I'm even wearing my 
friends PJs. So I look like crap sometimes. I don't care. Just giving information. So um, what you want to make sure is when you get your dentures done, you want your prosthodontist, whoever is in the lab also making your dentures to make them look real. I've seen so many immediate dentures or even permanent dentures that it just looks like straight up teeth and no realness to it. Not different shape. Like look. Square, round, all different kinds. Some go up here, you know, for canines to show that it's a canine. That's why mine look real. Is for immediates, these actually are like, people that go with a high-end immediate? No. I mean, I paid almost $1,000 for my top immediate. So that's actually pretty low price compared to what everybody else has paid. But if they're done properly and the person that's doing it actually gives a shit about the person that's sitting in their chair, he knew I, I do so many things, speaking and talking to people. I'm very outgoing. I'm very outspoken. He's like, Heather, you're young. This isn't even your fault what happened. I want to make sure I give you a good smile. And for immediates, like, these are awesome. They are. But like I showed you, if you see the gum line and see how they go in the teeth, um, look. I've seen way too many immediates. Way too many immediates that the gums just stop up here. And it's just teeth, and there's not even like where it looks like you can floss, but they're not your real teeth, so you can't. Like, see, you can see the cracks. So many, like, don't have the cracks. And mine are actually sort of where, like, you can floss because there are holes. When I rinse and I see bubbles, and when I, like, clean them and all that, you can see the bubbles in them. You can't now, clearly. I don't have water, but... I like how my gums go down almost halfway to my teeth. It makes it look real and natural, and that is exactly what you want. So if you're getting your dentures, you know, immediates, you don't have a choice. You get what you get. You just pick your color. So you just got to pray that they know what they're doing. But make sure when you do your permanent dentures, you do exactly... Do not be afraid to speak up, guys. Don't ever be afraid to speak up. They're your dentures. You're paying for them. They need to do what you're telling them to do, because... That's just what it is. When you go to affordable dentures, they all look the freaking same. I'm not even kidding. Unless you specifically say, I don't want this. I want them like this. Blah, 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 blah. If you look at people from other affordable dentures, they all have the same looking teeth. Most of them. Unless they've spoken out. So always make sure you speak out. Be unique. Pick the teeth that you want. Don't think, oh, because they're dentures, they don't, they're not going to look right. No, that's your choice, guys. Just know it's your mouth. You can make them squared. You can make them oval. You can make them high, short, wide, skinny. You can do whatever. I've seen people even put gaps in theirs, which, I mean, their teeth look so freaking natural when they do that. And it suits them. That's what I mean. I would never do that because it would totally not suit me. But for those people, it's suited beautifully. And they, I would have never guessed they wore dentures. I mean, they did a phenomenal job picking out what they wanted to do. So just remember, you are in control of your own denture, your own mouth. If you are not being heard, you find somebody that does hear you and give you what you want because you're paying for them and then you're stuck with them because ain't nobody wants to pay that kind of money. And affordable gen dentures is not affordable. Dude, they're expensive. And I was like, dude, my dentist charges cheaper than you people. My teeth look better than that. Like, come on now. Like, they should really, and I, you know, I know some people say affordable dentures, they're nasty people, they treat you like you're just a number, or one person said they just treat you like you're cattle, um, and, you know, there's like two people I've seen love affordable dentures, so you gotta understand, each chain is bought different by each dentist and does their own thing, and not every place, always check reviews wherever you go, always check reviews, I mean, my dentist has like almost five stars, so, and he handles Medicaid, he handles every insurance company. And he's very caring and very good at his job. So you want to make sure whoever is taking care of your mouth that they're doing their best and they're not treating you like your opinion don't matter. Because you know what? I hate when people do that. Whether it's a dentist, doctor, even if it's a customer service person anywhere, I hate that shit. Because customers need to be treated with respect. And I worked retail for like 15 plus something years. So do I think the customer's always right? No, but I do think you have to respect people and you treat people the way you would want to be treated. 
but always make sure that they're hearing you and don't be afraid. So many people are like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm just, I don't like it, but you know, I didn't tell them. Well, that's, that's on you, dude, because it's your fault. You didn't tell them you have to speak up. It doesn't matter what they think. This is your mouth. It's what you want. So if they're going to treat you a crappy way, you know, put them in that place real fast. Say, you know, listen, I'm a customer. I pay you to do a job. I'm telling you how to do that job and what I want. And your job is to do that for me. Make sure you do your wax try-ons. Anything you don't like, you check out. And, you know, when you first put it in, people are like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. But then they start, after time, realizing, oh, this is messed up and this isn't right and all this is wrong. But you need to understand that you need to just... I understand that you like the teeth in your mouth, but give it a minute. Start checking every section. Something is loose. Something is not right. If something, you know, one tooth is like not even even close to matching the other teeth, they don't have that gum line. Like this is what you want. You want the gum line to go down into the teeth because it makes it look real. Okay, I'm done annoying the crap out of you guys. <laughs> I'll leave you guys alone. If you have any questions you want me to respond to, you know you want information on, comment. Always email me. It's in every video in the description below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss videos, especially if you're requesting a video, um, then you'll miss your video. So hit subscribe, click on the bell, hit all, and you'll get all my information. If you miss my adjustment videos or my dry mouth videos or any other videos, click on uploads and it'll bring down the entire thing of um, all my videos I have done, which I have done a shit ton in the last month and a half. So. Don't hesitate to comment below or email me. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. God bless and stay safe.